Good afternoon, everybody. I almost forgot to switch my mixer scene there. That would have been weird recording the whole video with no voice. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for joining, man, for another Bible verse video. I am especially privileged to be here with you guys. Today, guys, we're going to be reading from the book of Psalms, okay? Specifically from chapter 55, verses 16 and 17. And today's verse um, reads as follows. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. Again, guys, that's Psalms from the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verses 16 and 17. Now, even when being in Old English, that's pretty that, that doesn't seem for me too difficult to translate. But either way, I love the inspiration and the interpretation. So let's go ahead and move into that, guys. All right. So what does that mean? All right. Basically, in today's terms, what that translated into, guys, is this time for God doesn't move like it does for us. There is no call that is too late in the evening or out of office hours. God can be reached within any moment you desire. You can even talk to him while driving, doing house chores or just before your big event or competition. God has time for you, for he is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end of all time. Now, let's stop there for a second, guys. How many times have you been frustrated because you want something or even worse, you need something right there at the time, like your dog is sick, but oh my gosh, are there any vets that are open? Or, oh man, I need to get something for my kid's school, a, a snack or a treat, and none of the supermarkets are open, or you can't go to the doctor's office because the, the you know, it, it's obviously past office hours and you don't want to go to the emergency room because all they're going to do is refer you to the doctor anyway, etc., etc., right? <sighs> guys... That's not the case for God. God is, there is, for God, there is no time, right? You come to him whenever you need him. He's there for you all the time. All he asks is that you come to him, guys. And that's, I mean, there's no other God besides our God. And when you tell me that you can go to him for anything at any time, it doesn't matter. God is bigger than time. He is beyond time. He's existed since before time. He's always been around. For our mind, that's almost impossible to comprehend, but just rest assured that this is 100,000% true. God has no time limit, all right? You can come to him at any time, any day, any minute, any second. It doesn't matter when it is in your life. You can come to him for anything and everything. And there's no prayer too small or too big, guys, because there is no problem that our Lord, that our God, our creator cannot solve for you. As long as you have faith, he will do it. As long as your relationship is true, he has no problem with it. And he loves when we come to him for anything and everything in our lives. God, everything in your life should be trusted to God, without a doubt. Um, and that's really all I have to say on that matter. Having said that, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our prayer. If you want to pray with me, guys, you know that you're always welcome. I love when people pray with me. I love when people drop the amens in the comments. Everything that stuff just sends goosebumps up my back, man, because I love being filled with the Holy Spirit, knowing that I'm helping other people, you know, and, and I love getting the word out there. And I feel like this is my calling and I'm so glad to do it, man. So let's go ahead and do this prayer, guys. Absolutely. Lord God, my divine creator and king of all kings, I thank you for listening to me at any hour of the day. For your dominion is everywhere and your grace and mercy is everlasting. Just as you hear me, Lord, I pray for you to help me in doing the same to you. As you speak through all things, your message of hope and salvation. Amen. Amen, guys. And I want you know what? I want to say something about this right here, because this to me is very interesting for your dominion is everywhere. OK, guys, when they say everywhere, right, they don't mean everywhere, just everywhere, like on Earth right everywhere in america they mean everywhere literally anywhere that you could think of traveling right let's just say that tomorrow scientists discovered how to travel at the speed of light or travel faster than the speed of light and we were able to colonize other planets right we were able to go to the nearest earth like planet let's say we could even get even crazier and break the transgalactic barrier right which means that we can travel to other galaxies let's say that somehow Human beings discovered a portal technology that could take us to any galaxy we wanted to explore, any planet that we wanted. God is still there. That's all his, guys. He created all of it. 
the trillions of stars, the trillions of planets, the trillions of galaxies, the entire universe, God did it. And no matter where you are, right, no matter what planet you're on, no matter where, if you're in outer space, it doesn't matter where you are. If you're traveling through space, if we find another planet like Earth, if humans spread out throughout the galaxy, throughout the universe, God still has dominion over it all, guys. And I know there's people who beg to differ, but believe me when I tell you, just like he created Earth, he created Venus, he created Mars, he created Mercury, he created our sun, he created everything else as well. All right. So just something I wanted to say, guys, because it was something that popped into my mind and people have actually asked that. What if I go to another planet? <laughs> God, guys, is extra planetary. OK, he's extra. The, the universe is his. He can he holds our universe like this. All right. There's nothing that there's nowhere that he's not. No matter where you are here, he sees you. OK, God could pick you out anywhere in the universe because he is the alpha and the omega thank you guys so much for joining me today man i love doing these videos i love uploading them i love the feedback i love you guys joining me and as i always tell you guys man be safe be good and be blessed god bless each and every one of you he loves each and every one of us jesus died for us on the cross for our sins lovingly and willingly so why can we not live for him peace Oh, 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 oh,